Shavua Tov, guys. Just doing some studying in the Torah. And uh, I thought I'd just share a video about Aaron. Was he responsible for the golden calf or not? And most of us say yes. Even the Peshat, the sages, they say yes, he was responsible. But uh, there's an interesting take from the Chazam Cipher that I'd like to show. And first, if we go to uh, Shamos 32, verse 5. Pasuche, we come to the Hebrew here, it says, Vaya ar aharon. It says, Vaya ven mizbeach lefana vayikra aharon vayomar chag la shem machar. It says, Aaron saw and built an altar before him. Aaron called out and said, A festival for Hashem tomorrow. He says, okay, let's get this party started. Let's let's do this. Let's let's build the golden calf. Let's do it tomorrow. And the Chazam Cipher comes along and he says, while immersed in the process of Teshuvah, Aaron demonstrated both properties of salt. On one hand, destruction warning the heir of Rav of their impending doom. If they persisted in erecting the golden calf, when he responded to their lust and idolatry by proclaiming Hagla Hashem Machar, a festival for Hashem tomorrow, Shemos 32.5, he's encouraging them to, in, he's not encouraging them to enjoy themselves on the following day. Rather, they should be aware that they are risking a bloodbath and many sacrifices similar to Chagiga, a sacrifice Okay, if they do not listen to his ways. In fact, the first letters of the words Hagla Shem Machar in reverse order spell Malach, salt. And similarly, the final letters of Hagla Shem Machar in scrambled form spell Hareg, sim uh, hinting at the terrible losses that they will suffer if the air if the air of air rav that makes multitude persist in its idolatrous ways okay and uh let's see here and so we look at this we look at this in the in the Chumash. And we have the, the first letters, the initial letters of Hagla Shem Machar, a festival for Hashem tomorrow. We have Chet Lamed Mem, which spelled the word Malach, salt. Okay, and salt preserves and destroys. And then we have the last letters. And we have here the Gimel, the He, the Resh, which spell the word kill. So what is... What is Aaron doing? He's saying, let's get rid of the evil. Let's get rid of the bad. Time to deal with this. We don't need this in us. We don't need this around us. It's time to purge out the wicked. And right now in these times, we need to be focused on the Torah. We need to keep holy, stay studying, stay connected to Hashem because Hashem is also doing some purging. And we need to stay, stick close to Him and study Torah. May you all continue to stay in Torah and be blessed and have no fear. And uh, Baruch Hashem, Shavua Tov. I just thought I'd share that insight from the Chazam Cipher.